Cheryl Simon Woolley, I'm the director of Operation Black Vote. And is that Woolley with two L's? With double L, yes. yes. Okay, wonderful. So why was it so important to stage this premiere sure. in the proximity to the Olympics? Yes, well for us it was a unique opportunity to have one of the greatest Olympians of all time in London two weeks before the Games. We thought it would be a fantastic platform to work on many levels, not least to inspire uh, black communities here in Britain to, to be the best they could be, to be strong, to be humble, uh, but to be change makers. But also to, I guess, sportsmen and women, and particularly black sportsmen, uh, that says, look, don't worry too much about the new Ferrari. Uh, worry about those around you that are less fortunate. Worry about the difference that you can make. And I guess thirdly, to, to, to wider society. And in the wider society, we say, look, uh, we can look at Dr. Smith, who's, who's, here, who's here right now, and we can learn from him. Because what, what he says, his legacy is, I want you to be strong. I want you to be brilliant. But I want you to have a conscience. I want you to have the way for all that will make a difference. It's a wonderful message two weeks before the Games. Do you think that some people might be shocked that an incident like this took place and the ostracism that occurred as a result of this gesture just 44 years ago? Well, in hindsight now, we're looking back and say, how were these great men demonised? How were they seen as villains of the peace when really uh, they were humanists? Uh, they were campaigners of, of great vision. Uh, I'm just pleased that right now we can salute these three great men. Is something about racism still that needs to be talked about, not necessarily with the Olympics, but with football? Mm. I mean, sure. as, you know, a court yeah, case and also Euro 2012. It was it, racism in football and sport was sure. in the papers all this year. Well, it's still there. It's still there on the field, off the field, in the workplace, uh, in the politics, in our governments. And we need to tackle it. Here's the thing, that when we tackle these persistent racial inequalities, everybody benefits, society benefits. You know, as a, if you look at the sporting analogy, you want to play your best team, you know, and we're not. It's great that this sporting analogy, this actually sporting political gesture, is here with us two weeks before the Games. But it's not just about sport, it's about life. Is it good that it's so much in the papers at the moment, or does it trivialise it in some way? It's well, it, well it, depends. it depends how it's dealt with. If it's dealt with in a way that seeks to go beyond the rhetoric, to go beyond the he said, she said, and looks at, at infrastructure, then we can make progress. I think that if it just becomes this, uh, uh, if you like, circus, media circus of uh, trivial abuse, seen as trivial abuse, then we can go backwards. If we can, I guess, uh, slowly reflect about uh, what is this symptomatic of, then we can make a wonderful difference. Thank you so much.